the distinctions, the small critiques, the small changes that I'll be able to do using this particular leather will be what you know makes the biggest difference forever. Yeah. You want them? What am I gonna do with them? Yeah, I'm 500. Yeah, see? They grills. That's the point. Yeah. I'll let somebody else have them. <laughs> that's all it is. It's, it's, it's just. You know, if somebody wants to see them first, they, they would say that's hard. <laughs> <laughs> it's, 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 it's all right. That's hard. It's all right. Got a few more things to do. And that is exactly why I'm filming today because today I have to go to the office and take care of these things. I forgot one thing, hold on. They do a little too much. Bill. Oh, appreciate it, man. Thank you, thank you. But sooner or later, I gotta change these discs because this one is filled with nothing but like rubber from all the times that I worked on it. And then this one's filled with nothing but lint from all the times I worked on it. So I'm kind of at odds right here. You got us some new smokes? Cheers. Give me a, let me see what cigarettes look like. One, I ain't never opened a pair. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, uh, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. It's twenty, I told you. Twenty. So that means five. Because we thought it was ten at first. Hell but no. it's twenty. You get no. <laughs> there you go. No, three. You get your one and then you ask me for the two, three. Oh hell to the no. <laughs> you, you better you better make that shit last as long as possible. You better inhale twice. Oh <laughs> <laughs> I'm not down for 
this damn smoking. By the time you get done here, you ain't gonna be on these things. So. <laughs> you better have to hey. hey, look. Hey, what's up, man? How you doing, man? I don't know. The shoes been going solid. Everything's been going good. I'd say uh, they're about ninety percent done. Yeah. All right. Don't your breaths. But I do got a little something to show you today. Show and tell. Like honestly, coming from a person that messes with leathers, that you know works with leathers. Being that, you know, I'm not in San Francisco or some sort of like metropolitan city where they got, you know, Chinatowns everywhere and just like random bl Actually, I'm stopped because I may fool around and incriminate myself. But a lot of the supplies, exotic materials and things of that nature, I always get online. That's really the only way I can get things um, in order to really work on them. You know, there's no really places or areas um, near me to which, you know, I can just go get some you know particular leathers that I need you know Joanne's fabric doesn't carry it Michael's definitely don't carry it either so I'm out of luck but I did find one place about 30 minutes away from me that doesn't carry exotic leathers but they carry some interesting leathers that I haven't worked with before so in the end that's more interesting than anything else because you know just doing something different keep the creativity you know flows like bubbling and things of that nature so this right here is vegetable tan leather. Look, so I'm not gonna give you some five minute monologue and drop some knowledge on you like I know what this is, because personally, I really don't. All I know is that it's leather and the difference between this right here, vegetable tan leather and any other leather that I've messed with or you know uh, worked with before is that this particular leather is tanned with some sort of vegetable extract, which makes it a little more greener, I guess. Um, you know, on the humanitarian side of things, but, but the minor changes, the tweaks, the small critiques could be much more precise and much more cooler and, uh, just really give me free reign to do whatever the hell I want. The distinctions, the small critiques, the small changes that I'll be able to do using this particular leather will be what, you know, makes the biggest difference forever. So um with this you know it's gonna be just figuring out new techniques starting from the bottom kind of again and uh just figuring out different ways to you know master the craft and be a little more creative so stay tuned for this uh it should be real real interesting 